What's up guys? Welcome to the Guy Wire YouTube channel. I am Matt the Dad Bod Knight, joined here by Chris, the one and only Andrews. The one and only the one eyed monster, the The one one eyed monster, definitely. <laughs> I mean, just depends on when you catch me. I like that. Uh so today we are not celebrating, we are remembering 9-11. It is September eleventh, twenty one years after the fact. And 21 uh years. 21 years. I can't believe that. Yeah. Um, and we're also remembering the second 9-11, the soldiers that fell in Benghazi. Um, and what better way to do that than to pour out a toast to our fallen heroes. Um, I am a member of the, uh, or was a member of the active military. I went and fought overseas in Iraq. Uh, Chris is a huge supporter of the military and has lived a, a very close to military lifestyle. Um, yeah, pretty in, much. in some parts without um, actually ever being deployed in the military, in the military. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be making uh, an old-fashioned and drinking a toast to those fallen heroes so first thing that you need for an old-fashioned is what because I've, I've only made a few of these bourbon obviously uh, bourbon or um, one of my preferences and you don't have it but uh, rye you can use rye for a bourbon uh, right. old-fashioned comes out really good right so uh, we have our muddler I know it looks phallic but that's where you get a good bit of the taste. We, we just won't story. talk about what he uses it for on the weekends. Or where I store it, which is right here. <laughs> right, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, two glasses, of course, however many people that you're feeding the old fashioned, you need those glasses. Your bourbon, an orange, specifically for the peel, some bitters, and some simple syrup. Uh, you can make your own simple syrup, but I buy this just because it's cheap and easier. Um, don't flame me too hard in the comments if you're a bartender. I'm not a professional bartender. I'm just a guy who likes to drink old fashions. So first, I take out my handy dandy shot glass. That way everything is neat and uniform across the board. And I do two shots of bourbon. I prefer, I prefer bourbon rather than rye. Um, I don't like that rye finish like on a maker's mark, um, but the bullet is one of my favorites as well as uh, the Buffalo Trace as you see here, which is kind of in short supply right now and not very easy to get in our area. I think you've ran into some of that, mm -hmm. haven't you? Yeah, in this area in North Carolina, you gotta be real lucky to find it. I will say though, this is not just a bullet bourbon. This is a 10 year old age bullet bourbon. It is phenomenal. It's good stuff. I could, I could drink it with my eyes closed. <laughs> Sometimes I have to if I get uh, down on the bottle. There's a dirty joke in there somewhere. I just haven't figured it out yet. Probably something about getting down on the bottle. That's a pretty wide neck, though, so <laughs> I don't know how far I could get down on that bottle. Just depends on how determined you are. Exactly. All right. All right, we're good. We got liquor. All right, <laughs> Here cheers. Old fashioned's done. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Next step, a couple dashes of bitters. This is the Bitter Housewife Orange Bitters. Bitter Housewife. I wonder where you got that from. Wifey sauce. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So I do just a couple dashes. Some people like more, some people like less. I kind of eyeball it. It's like I cook with love. I make drinks with love. I don't, I don't use a, a measuring stick with one of these guys. You wait until your alcoholic ancestors say, that's enough. Exactly. <laughs> uh, next, knife in your orange. Just want to get that peel, that zest off of your orange. Now, did you know there's actually, uh, and some of the bartender people out there may actually back this up, is you can actually, uh, just a little bit of flair, you can ignite that zest as you uh, squeeze it off the orange. I've seen that. One thing that I also like to do is rub the rim with the orange peel. Not a lot of people will do that. Some of your uh, more experienced bartendois, I believe as they call them in France, will. I like to give that guy a twist just to get that uh, the oils and everything out of the orange. Drop that guy in. We'll do the next one for the other drink. Give that guy a twist there. Drop her in. The next step is your simple syrup. Do one quarter ounce simple syrup. Not a lot, but this stuff is sugary and strong. Excuse me, a half ounce, not a quarter of an ounce. You can go a hair less on mine. <laughs> Do a quarter for yours there. Yep. 
And then final step before the ice is our handy dandy muddler tool. We get down in there, really press those oils out of that orange. Brings out a lot of the flavors, those high uh, floral notes out of your bourbon. Um, if you're a Four Roses fan, you'll definitely benefit from this because uh, it has a lot of those floral notes in it. That's one reason that I think you kind of stay away from it. Is yeah, that right? I'm not a fan of the Four Roses bourbon, but. Last step, top her off with a few ice cubes. Some of the more refined gentlemen out there will use a ball of ice mm -hmm. um, or even a, a whiskey stone. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've played around with the whiskey stones and they just don't chill it down enough. Yeah, I've noticed that and I'm a person who I don't mind when the old fashioned gets a little bit watery towards the end of it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I drink whiskey, I rarely drink it straight. I'll drink whiskey with a splash of water. Yeah. Now, one thing you can use as a as a substitute for the simple syrup, if you don't have that, is a sugar cube or just some gra uh, granulated sugar. If you got that in the kitchen. Uh, and I don't recommend any of the um, any just plain of the white sugar. Um, I like the mm -hmm. the grain, the um, whatever. Granulated sugar or uh, uh, cane, cane sugar. Cane, cane sugar, 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 sugar yeah. in the raw. Um, mm -hmm. It's good stuff, but. Uh, that is your old fashioned. There you go, it's a pretty simple drink. It just takes a minute or two to make. Mm -hmm. So to our fallen heroes, all those who died in 9-11, uh, in memory of you. Um, and all those that served after 9-11 because of 9-11. Palmia, all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good old fashioned. That is a fine drink, sir. Ooh, God. And that bourbon, that bourbon is what drives it home. So for more content like this, go check out our podcast, The Guy Wire Pod. Uh, it's theguywirepod at gmail.com if you want to uh, give us an email about some content. Um, so like, subscribe our YouTube channel, share with other guys. Uh, common guy things will be shared. Lawn care, auto maintenance. Grilling. Crazy, crazy shit women do that drives us nuts. Uh, why they're why women have so many throw pillows on the couch when Dear God. you only need one to you know take it out. Can a woman write in and tell us why they do that? I really want to yeah. know that. I'm dying. Yeah, because uh, I tr I prodded wifey sauce for an answer earlier, and all I got was they're so pretty. And shut the fuck up. She did tell me to shut the fuck yeah. up. Yeah, I was there. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. on that note, y'all enjoy your bourbon. Drink responsibly. Or not. <laughs>